Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you're watching Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Joining me, as always, is my co-host from the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks podcast, Rebellious D. How you doing today, bro? Ready to rock. Hey, I am ready to rock, too. And guys, we are doing a review for season two of Tiger and Bunny, called Tiger and Bunny 2. It has been, what, 11 years? Has it been 11 years? Thanks, so. No. I think so. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, it's been it long ago. Yes, yes, it, yes. It, it has been a long time. I want to say the last movie came out in 2015. So yeah, so it's, yep. it's yeah, so almost 11 years. It's been a while. It's been it's been a while, Holy but cow. they are back, and yo, know, I am so happy they're back, and we are <clears> going to be doing this review. So before we get into this review, everybody that's watching, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And D, like you always say. Podcast also in the description. Like, follow, subscribe to the channel. And when you see that like button powering up for a special, you look at your best friend and you say, good luck mode you click that thing before it has a chance to do anything bro i love it man yo uh i it's just it's crazy man mm -hmm. it's crazy you know i never knew about tiger and bunny somebody recommended it to me and i thought that it was a newer anime because the animation was just so good mm -hmm. on tiger and bunny like it looked like it came out like, when did I watch it? I want to say it was 2019 when I first watched it. And when I found out that this anime came out in 2011, for mm -hmm. the animation to still look that good, and then to find out that there wasn't a season two, like this anime ended, they did have two movies that came out afterwards. I wanted more of it. And yeah, it's kind of crazy. It was crazy, bro. And then when I found out that a season two had been announced and it was coming out in 2022, I was waiting patiently. And what's crazy is that this anime is so underrated because a lot of people do not know about it. When I would go, I would go into YouTube comment sections of Tiger and Bunny videos, and mm -hmm. I would be like, hey, there's a season two coming out. And people would be like, no, there isn't because nobody knew. People still <laughs> didn't know. Like I, I posted the video of the opening for uh, season two online. And somebody, the, one of the first comments I saw was, is this real? Because like nobody knew this anime is so underrated, man. And D, I know that we did the Tiger and Bunny review. I know that you were uh, a huge Tiger and Bunny fan. And when I told you that they were coming out with a season two, you were, I don't even know the word to use when I told you that they were coming out with it. But bro. Super sweet. Hey, happy we're here, Banks. I am happy um, that we're here too, man. It's just great to see these characters back in action. I, for one, love the expansion of the relationship between Tiger and Bunny. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, they're, it's almost to a point where they're like kind of completing each other's thoughts and they just know like each other so you. well now. Yeah, I mean, it's just how it goes. And it's just uh, so happy to see Sky High back. <clears throat> uh -huh. Everybody, the whole gang plus some more. Yeah. I mean, um, so good. Go ahead. No, man, I 100% agree with you, man. It was cool seeing the characters return, but yo, it was one character in particular. It was really cool. Gold Ryan. Golden yeah. Rock, man. Trav in the house. Oh my God. Hey, so on our, our podcast, because our co host Trav, he, we tried to tell him to watch Tiger and Bunny, and he said he's, he's on good the show. On. He he's said on the he's show. good on it, but they have a character based off of him. He's out there. <laughs> Golden Ryan. Yo, mm -hmm. talk about a surprise, man. And then for to see like how they're doing like the whole team ups with all of their characters. You know, mm -hmm. back in season one, Tiger and Bunny were the first superhero team up. And I love that in uh Tiger and Bunny, the rising, we kind of mm -hmm. saw, you know, the heroes were teaming up and whatnot yeah. and you know, doing combos together. So I kind of feel like that was like the in their world, the early Testing stages of yeah, maybe we mm -hmm. should have the heroes team up and work together because it seems like they do a good job. So it was just cool seeing all of the past heroes from mm -hmm. season one, uh, you know, become like these new team partners. And of course, uh, Fire Emblem and Sky High, they were mm -hmm. the number one team. I mean, like, yep. 
you know, when the when the show starts out and you see them do their their combination attack together, that fire and wind, I was just like, yo, that was dope. It, it was, yeah, it was it's was dope seeing sweet. everybody's yeah. everybody's teams, bro. But now, D, I want to ask you, who was your favorite team up? Ooh, <sighs> favorite team up would have to be. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm gonna go with the the oldie but goodie. I mean, are we just counting the new team minus, up? To... Minus Tiger and Bunny. Yeah, I mean, because they're obviously the best one. Yeah, but yeah. uh. I mean, you know, I'm a huge Sky High fan. He's my probably my favorite character in the show. Oh, he's just an easygoing guy that likes to hang out with his dogs. You know what I'm saying? When he's not in costume. And uh, Fire Emblem's super cool, too. And I thought that it was um, it was a match made in heaven. Because then, you know, you get these episodes where you're getting uh, kind of like a background or the ins and outs of each team up. Yeah. And I thought that that was really cool and thoughtful because it, it gets to... Um, a point where Fire Emblem feels like he has to be perfect. And then Fire Emblem, I mean, uh, Sky High lets him know, you know, these are the things that I don't like and the things that I feel like I don't do well enough to make him feel more comfortable. And all the while, you know, he has Fire Emblem riding on his shoulders, which I thought was pretty sweet. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. What about you? For me, it's definitely Blue Rose and Golden Ryan. It's like, oh, yeah, that just, was a good one, too. I yep. loved the episode. And that's one of the things that I loved about this season was the character development <clears throat> that each hero team had. Like, I thought that they did a really good job, you know, just showcasing the team ups with these her these heroes. Like, even mm -hmm. when you look at um, Antonio and I'm mad I can't remember. What, what is Antonio's hero name again? Is that uh, the Mr. Black? No, 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 no. The, no, the bull. Uh, origami oh, uh, Cyclone. Origami Cyclone and uh, Rock Bison. Rock Bison. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I love their team. Of, like, <laughs> they went to the bar, you know, Rock Bison. He got yeah. drunk. He, what did he call him? Uh, something breeze, <laughs> gentle breeze. Oh, gentle breeze. <laughs> yeah. And, and he was just like, I didn't mean it, like, you know, mm -hmm. saying that, you know, he was a gentle breeze. I just, meant it as you know like when i think of him like he's like a gentle breeze and yeah i can understand why origami cyclone was upset but felt like he was dissed yeah he felt disrespected then when you find out his backstory and like why he became origami yeah. Cyclone, and and that's what i mean by these backstories but going back to golden ryan and blue rose yeah. i just love how golden ryan or ryan he thought that blue rose and tiger were gonna become partners and you know, yeah, that was, was funny too. Barney was, was like, like, huh? Yeah, huh? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and and that too, when you find out Ryan's backstory and why he doesn't trust people. And yeah, I, I mean, thought that it was very thoughtful season yeah. two, if you will. I thought that the way they chose it spanned on everybody was phenomenal. And the way they added in the new characters as well. I thought it was very thoughtful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just know that um there was something that Antonio had said. He heard Ryan say, he was just like, you know, like you, no, it wasn't Antonio. It was um, Sky High, where mm -hmm. he said he heard Ryan say something about like, you know, you guys aren't backstabbers because Ryan's former teammates, it's yeah. like, they only care about popularity. And that's something that we see with the new heroes with Mr. Black and, uh, uh, high they as Tom, uh -huh. it, yeah, hit. I like that. Hit. High as Tom, mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> it's like you know they they Mr. Black he he wants to be popular and whatnot, whereas you know Tom he's just trying to get the job done and protect people. And then when you see the episode with him, where it's like he's finally about to start trusting people again, mm -hmm. and then that old couple, it's like they drugged. Like bro. I, yeah. When I watched the episode, I knew that it was too good to be true that those mm -hmm. people were being really nice to him. Same. It, 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 it was messed up. And just the whole episode in general where he ended up beating the the crook to a pulp. You know what yep. I'm saying? And it, and it was recorded and people were just like, oh, well, I don't know about this and, you know, all mm -hmm. of this stuff. But, oh, bro. I can't. What what is the uh, the cat girl's name? I'm mad. I can't remember her name. Magical I'm cat. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah magical cat. I'm sorry, y'all, but like there is no information on like the characters' names online. Like I looked it mm -hmm. up before we did the review and whatnot. 
And I guess because it's still new. Magical Cat. Yeah, but Magical Cat, when uh, her and Dragon Kid had their episode and, Mm -hmm. you know, Dragon Kid, she was trying to protect uh, Magical Cat. But, you know, Magical Cat's mom was just like, nah, like she's trying to hog all the spotlight. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, no, it's not that she's just trying to protect her because she notices Mm -hmm. and practice how she is when she uses her powers compared to when she's out on the actual battlefield and like she doesn't use you know everything that she has but you know just going back to that episode and seeing that the uh the the criminal's name in that episode was bruno and he had yeah i was just like bro now of course you know they already had worked on this just like you know they had already worked on Encanto. It's just a coincidence that this guy's name is Bruno. Yeah. And, you know, he had the hood on and whatnot. Uh-huh. And I'm in the shadows. Oh, I actually thought he had robots or something. It Because it looked like he was huge when he was standing in the crowd initially. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, what is it? Does this guy have like a robot or? No, nah, he was just a good old fashioned pyro. Uh-huh. He, had, he actually had to set up your boy had from, um, from Super Crooks. Yeah, I can't. What was yeah, the old man's name? Yeah, he I can't did. think of it now. But he had the uh, he had the glasses the on there. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that was. I mean, it was a lot of thoughtful uh, episodes, and I enjoyed all the minor crooks and moments we got throughout the whole season too. Yeah. No, I um, agree, man. Um, something else that I wanted to touch on was yeah. the fact that Tiger and Bunny they <clears throat> they played more of a background role because it's like they Mm kind of they went through their story in season one and then of course uh the rising where yeah you know we see their story so it's like Mm -hmm. they're just there to be heroes and do their job and i just loved it they put the focus on all of the other heroes and built them up now with this series of course the way that it ended it ended on a cliffhanger this is part one we are getting the second part and like d i want to ask you now and i want you guys to let us know in the comments yep. what starting with you d yep what are some of the things that you would like to see in part two of this i think i would like to see our heroes in more of a and now that we've introduced our new the team ups as well as our new characters i would like to see them kind of engage in more of a combat kind of like more than just a quick finish, I guess, like a, a long drawn out battle. I think yeah. that's something we didn't get in the first part. I will say that um, Tiger towards the end when he forced, you know, our protagonist for part one, the twins, um, he the forced antagonist. the antagonist, excuse yeah. me. He forced the one who could basically backfire or feet he could absorb and put back like a full counter essentially. Um, I love that sequence where he was just going in. He went good luck mode and gave it everything he had. And yeah. um, it kind of revealed how to break him down. But I would like more instances like that moving forward in part two, but with our other heroes, not just him and uh, Bunny. Yeah. No. Um, that's the main thing I'm looking for. What about you? No, I feel you on that, man. Because I talk with you, man. you know, off of uh, YouTube about this, where yes. I said that I just feel like some of the you know fights and you know the the crimes that's going on i kind of just feel like they're staged so that way i just feel like they're too quick so that way they i mean but i feel like it's yeah, staged so true. that way hero tv can stay on tv because it's it's a it's a ratings cash cow you know people watch this stuff and it just it's kind of crazy but just how season one started mm-hmm. season two kind of started the same way except this time they had the team ups going on. Yeah. Like they were just mm-hmm. capturing, you know, just guys that robbed a bank or did something. Now like did that. your did your opinion that opinion you have, did it change or or move the gauge at all as the, the season progressed? Like you went and you nah, had the pyro. You not for real. I mean, well, Magical Cat got shot in her leg, man. And then you had the pyro who was clearly trying to kill him. Yeah, well, I mean like going more towards the end when we yeah. got the fight with the twins <clears throat> i mean like even uh in the first season the fight with uh you know mr j yeah i just feel i feel like those fights like you said like those are the long out fights 
Mm-hmm. But it's like I, I would love to see more of that. And yeah, uh, some of see some they have that, one in the first one that you brought up the fight with Mr. Mr. J, J. Yeah, where they, they all had, kind of just yeah, it's true. You had that, you know, and then of course you had the fight at the end where um, you know they were all fighting against Tiger and whatnot, and mm-hmm. then Tiger and Bunny had their fight. But yeah, I would love to see like more drawn out fights. But um, for me, uh, I really wanted to see Lunatic in this, uh, you know, first part. It's just like, you know, of course he got mentioned and, you know, at mm-hmm. the end we saw Yuri burn up the, because he wanted to end the whole, you know, superhero team up thing. But yeah, but because of what happened at the end, like, you know, he ended up burning up the file and it's, uh, it's interesting to see that like he's the head of you know, the heroes now. And mm-hmm. I was kind of disappointed that Ben wasn't there because, you know, he was in more of a prominent role at, oh, yeah, you know, in right. the first season. And, mm-hmm. and remember, we talked about this too. Like, I was just like, yo, like, it's going to be cool to see Bo Billingsley up here, who we interviewed. Yeah, and, you're right. Uh, his interview, it is up here on our channel. You can either watch the video or you can listen to it on our podcast, Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. But uh, hopefully he makes a return in uh, in the second half of season two. I'm also mm-hmm. hoping that we see that kid return from uh, season one, the one that Tiger saved or told him. He's just like, hey, you can be a hero too. And, you know, those mm. are things that I want to see. Yeah. But something else I want to touch on is, uh, you know, Kaede and wanted to go to the Hero Academy. Yeah. And, you know, I understand why Tiger is, is protective over her because, you know, he lost his wife. And, yep. you know, he doesn't want to lose his daughter. And we saw, you know, she wants to be a hero, but she doesn't know how to control her her next abilities. So anytime that she comes in contact with a net, she takes their abilities. And we saw what happened. She almost died if it yep. wasn't for Tiger coming in. So, um, uh, one thing I find interesting is the fact that Bonnie's friend is developing that enhancement drug. And I was like, is Tiger going to take that to kind of rewind the t- the clock on his powers? I was thinking that too, man. Yeah, I was just like, is that what's... I mean, it's not... I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that he could make something for Tiger. I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, I think, I mean, it's still there. So that would be interesting to see if they move that forward at all. Mm-hmm. But um, I just think that... They need to keep it. I mean, I'm I'm just so ecstatic to have these characters back, to be honest. And the way they chose to change the dynamic up with the team ups. And then, like I said, Tiger and Bunny getting closer together and just kind of being able to know each other. It's yeah. just amazing, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I love the whole, hey, you want to go to the bar? Because Tiger yeah. kept on telling, uh, <laughs> yeah. he, he kept telling Fire Emblem, yeah, man, it's just like, you just go to the bar. And Bunny was yeah. like, We've been teamed up for you know years. Yeah, now. we ain't never been. <laughs> ain't never been to the bar. Nah, he ain't know what he was talking about. Bro, I also, man, mm, go, go ahead. ahead. You first. I uh, know. I was gonna say in the first episode when uh, <laughs> when Tiger had drank his uh, his energy drink, and then Bonnie just kept on writing on the sticky notes. Uh huh. Like, He's not talking to me. Yada yada. yada oh yada. yeah. I told you I'm not speaking with you right now. Yeah, I, um, I thought that was funny. One thing I wanted to mention is the change or the dynamic in Golden Ryan as it progressed. And he kept calling him Blue Rose, Princess. Princess uh, and then it was just kind of like they, they become partners over time, you know, and they, they found this respect for each other. He was like, I just wanted to protect you this whole time. Uh, like a big mm-hmm. brother. Uh-huh. Because, I mean, she, I mean, she is young, you know, I mean, yeah. she does. She doesn't look like she's young, but yeah, she's young. So I mean, I yeah, so. I totally understand like why he wants to you know be protective over her and whatnot. But yeah, so. man, a really phenomenal good season. watch. Yeah, phenomenal, phenomenal watch. watch. Like every episode, I was happy just watching that first episode. I was smiling yeah. the entire time. <laughs> it, it, it it felt like waking up on Christmas Day and just getting everything that you wanted. And I feel like they hit all the right accords for this season or for the first half. Um, The only issue that I really had, and this is what some people have said in the comments on the the opening song that Mm. I had posted, was that Mm. the quality and the animation kind of went down and which I could, I could totally see that. I mean, like just looking, Mm -hmm. looking at, cause bro, I remember watching 
the first season and like the animation on that like it was really good but if you look at the animation up here it's not bad because there are certain scenes where the animation looks just as good as uh the first season but there are certain scenes where it's just like uh, like uh, yeah kind of dips yeah it kind of dips but it's not bad though it's just it just kind of dips though but i like i mean like that's my only complaint did, did you have any complaints for uh part one i don't really two? i don't really have any complaints to be honest i was just happy to have these characters back and just kind of taking in every scene that they gave us um but if that's the best gripe that people have then they're off to a great start to be honest i mean because the, the characters are phenomenal and the story is phenomenal so Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I really like the opening and uh, the opening and closing uh, songs too. You know, it's just yeah. a good show. And so. also, too, something else that I loved was that at the end of every episode, you don't want to skip it because it's like it's showing you what the twins are doing and yeah. how they're traveling the world. I love that like they went more in depth to you know Ouroboros and show yep. like what was going on. I, I thought that that was dope. And yep. uh, I don't want to spoil anything because, you know, if you are just watching this review and you haven't watched it yet, you need to go watch it. Support it. Everybody needs to watch Tiger and Bunny. Like, this is a good series and For it sure. needs more attention. There's a live action movie coming out. Um, it's mm. been in development since 2015 or the script's been in development. Like, it, it's going to be developed in Hollywood. I can't wait. Yeah. I mean, I... I don't want to say I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I mean you know how live action anime movies can be. You already depends know on the it. cast and then I mean I feel like the casting. I think Tiger and Bunny can be done, if done correctly. We'll see. I mean, it's, hey, it's going to come down to the script. It's a lot of factors that have to go right for it to work, though. I, so, I agree, man. But I mean, we'll see because there's right. there's a live action My Hero Academia movie supposed to coming out too. I mean, it makes me want to just kind of smile when I think about the idea of seeing a live, just seeing Barnaby and Tiger in a in a live action. I just want to see them, be, you know, in the costumes. And uh-huh. He's got to have the goatee done right. He's got to have the curl. You know what I mean? Like, come on. So. Hey, look, if this live action movie <laughs> comes out and Golden Ryan isn't in it, are you going to be disappointed? I'm good on it. I'm good on it. Yeah. Trav ain't there. We good. Golden Trav. If he ain't there, I'm good. No, 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 no. All right. So, uh, final question. <laughs> Uh, final thoughts and what do you give part one of season two of Tiger and Bunny? Oh, Pat, part one, I'm going to give, I'm going to give it a solid nine. Mm. If they would have Lunatic just show up laughing one good time or taking somebody out in the end credits, um, I'm going to give it a nine. I just want to hold out hope for 10 for part two. I just need them to keep doing what they're doing, keep it spanning on the store. You know, nothing crazy. You know, yeah. they're doing what they they're doing what you're supposed to do. And uh they did it at a high level. So nine out of ten. Uh, for, yeah, for me, uh, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten as well. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the story, I enjoyed the new heroes, I enjoyed uh the team ups. Like I think yeah. that they did everything just right. The only in. reason why I'm giving it a nine is because, like you said, there was no lunatic. I needed yeah. to see lunatic. Um, I, I just loved how everybody just kept on mentioning lunatic. And whenever like somebody would be talking about lunatic, like Yuri would be there in the room, and it's just like we know mm-hmm. he's lunatic. Uh, yeah, so there was uh, there was there was that, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it was good, but it wasn't perfect. But it was it was really good. And uh yeah, let us know in the comments what you thought about it. Like let us know what your rating is. Uh let us know what some of your favorite moments were from uh part one of season two, what you are looking forward to seeing in part two. Um, you know, are you hoping that this gets big enough so that way we get a season three? Because I mean, like, I want Tiger and Bunny to keep going because it's a really good series. So let us know yeah. in the comments. D, let them know where they can find you at in social media land. You can find me at rebellious double underscore d23 at instagram.com and banks good luck mode where can they find a hero hey you can find me your hero benjamin banks at king benji 
underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you again for watching this review. Make sure that you check out some more of our reviews that we have here on the channel, along with interviews and reaction videos. Make sure you check out our podcast. The link is down below in the description where we have new episodes every Tuesday. And then there's a video of that episode that is right up here on YouTube on Friday. Like I always say, keep that pinky up. Stay positive. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Bonjour, heroes. Peace. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel. Podcast, we got that too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications. Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.